Jackson on the ball with a 9.9 .9 start value. All right, looks like a one step to the side for Carrie Diefendorfer. How is that going to score compared to uh, Cheryl Conlon's? You know what? That was a uh, more difficult ball than Cheryl Conlon's. As you saw, her legs were straight. That was a full twisting year. Their legs came apart more. Their toes weren't pointed. They bent their knees during their giants. So Central really has that um, the clean performance that judges look for, where their legs are together. They don't necessarily have the skill portion, but they are definitely more clean than Western is. And here comes freshman Brittany Taylor, who, just like Emily LaFontaine, scored her best score on the bars this year with a 9.775 last week against Kent State. And she's going to do the springboard technique as well. And here's Brittany into her uneven bars routine. You know what, Ben? Brittany is a very strong competitor on the bars. She's clean, and she definitely has the speed. Ooh. And it looks like she just fell from the top bar. So, Christine, now, what, this is all we see this in gymnastics all the time. A, a gymnast will fall. They'll take the time to regather themselves. What's going through Brittany's mind right now? I bet she's just hoping that she didn't fall. She is definitely one of Central's strongest competitors on the uneven bars, and they definitely did not need her to fall on that. So she, hopefully, she can just finish with a strong dismount. So the fall that just happened. How many points is that? take away from her overall performance? You know what, I'm not sure if it was um, a requirement. It could be up to one point, so hopefully it won't be that much. I'm thinking that it would um, be up to uh, five tenths of a point, so we'll have to see what the judges think, but you did see her try and redo the move, so that does mean that she needed that requirement in her performance. She got it the second time through, still looked a little bit hesitant. She does stick the landing, however, so what That's points? Central really needed on this event. And up on the beam right now is the senior, Katie Simon. Scored a best 9.800, earned it at the Michigan Classic, while a career best of 9.90 was recorded last year. So again, another beam performer who's capable of very high numbers. What, have you, what do you like so far? Um, she definitely did a beautiful tumbling pass there, Ben. Uh, she's connected everything so far. Let's hope she can uh, keep up the good work skill. Yeah, Suter for, Suter's specialty really is the beam. She's had to do the performance just because once you do stick that, you knew you were capable of it. And although you did fall, it sets you up for um, a good dismount, a good rest of the routine. Yeah, she had a great dismount right there. You saw Coach Jerry Rygert come in there maybe Simon. with a little bit more of that band music that we heard from earlier. Looks like she got some major air on that. She does get very high. She is very strong on the floor exercise. Yeah, Katie Simon is definitely the crowd pleaser when it comes to the floor exercise. The past few events, she has got the biggest ovation from the crowd. She really gets into her event. She gets a lot of air on her jumps. Just a great performer all around. Here she goes with her second tumbling pass. A front handspring, front full, front tuck, which is pretty difficult. The front tumbling passes are typically a little easier than the back ones, but that was a very good tumbling pass for Katie Simon. Yeah, and after that eccentric start now is, is the part in her event where she kind of slows it down a little bit, shows off the little dance moves that she's given in the corner. And that music will probably pick, pick up for her final pass, I'm sure. Here comes that final pass. A very high double back once again in the tough position, which is typically a little bit easier. I think on her first tumbling cast, we saw her do a uh, pike position. All right, that's going to do it for Katie Simon. You can listen to that crowd get into it. Probably, again, the loudest ovation we've heard.